my name is Gina Jemsko and welcome to something so exciting. As you can see by the title and by the screen, we are starting The Sims Free Play from the very beginning. I am so excited about this. I really can't wait. Don't worry, I have still got my other level 55 game that this is on a different device. I do my level 55 game on my phone and this game is on my iPad. So don't worry, I have still got the level 55 game where I'll be able to show the any new events or quests that come up. But I just wanted to really start the game again. I know that, that the game is over six years old now. There have been so many changes in the game from when I very first started playing. Like I started playing six years ago. There's been a ton of new quests and events and updates. So much has happened, but there are new people joining the game all the time. So I figured it would be quite interesting to start from the beginning and see what it's like to be a new player in The Sims Free Play. Six years in, I asked you guys a few weeks ago now to suggest sort of any ideas and things you want to go on within this series and loads of you got back to me so thank you so much to everyone who commented also you can comment down below what I want I want this kind of to be we are going to walk through all of the quests but I also want it to be quite a story based let's play and I want to name the sims after you guys so comment down below if you want a sim named after you with the your name or like a name any name that you want a sim to be named and how you would like them to look because I absolutely I would love to have you guys in my game and also any kind of ideas for how you want the sims to be interacting I have got a couple of ideas from you already and I don't really know how it's going to work to try and like do the quests in the time limits and do the stories as well but we'll figure it out as we go along let's get going and let's start a new game I'm honestly so excited about this right let's click start new game I wonder how different it's going to be. Oh, I love this screen. <laughs> oh, it's going to look so weird. Simtown is just going to be so empty. Welcome to The Sims Free Play. Get ready to create and take control of a whole town full of Sims. Look at the little starter house. This is so weird. It might look quiet now, but oh, I, did, I don't know what that said. <laughs> Let's get started by moving in your first Sim. Okay, here we go. So let's create our first sim. Now I have got a sim in mind. Somebody commented with a sim name as a subscriber and it was Chloe Pepper. Chloe, I don't know what you look like. I don't know how you would like me <laughs> to make you. You didn't say in your comment. So I'm just gonna make a sim <laughs> <laughs> with your name and I hope you're not offended with how I make you look. I don't think we want to do hats. In fact, actually, we should just take a look at what we start off with in The Sims because it's like these days we have so many clothes and all different things that we've worn throughout various different events and things. i kind of forgotten what you start with. Okay, you literally start with no hats. Hair-wise, so we've got so many amazing hairstyles now. And this is all you start with at the beginning. Oh my goodness, like literally hardly anything. Like there's about, what, six hairstyles here that you get? Maybe a few more than six actually, but hardly any. Let's make, I'd like to make a blonde sim, I think. Maybe this one. I quite like that. I don't think I've ever used that hair. Maybe we use that hair. Head. There's a few different heads. I don't think we have any more heads as you progress throughout the game. I think that's... That's kind of it. I think I like, maybe this one actually, I quite like that. Let's go with that one. Eyes, I feel, let's go with nice blue eyes. And then tops, oh my goodness. You just so forget how much that we've unlocked throughout the game. Look at this, how the starting game is. Hardly anything. Let's see, what should we, I feel like I like this jacket. This is probably like my favorite of the starter clothes. Oh, I didn't know they had like a little Sims 3. Maybe that, yeah, I like that one. Maybe we'll go for it. Mm, let's go for it in red. And then pants. Let's see, pants. There's quite a decent selection there, I think, for the starting. For the starting? <laughs> for the how we, you know what I mean, for the starting bit of the game. Maybe we just go for some simple jeans. Mm, 
Not sure I like that actually. I mean, um, yeah, in fact, no, let's go, let's go with those jeans. Actually, if you have got, if you want to create a sim, of course you can just leave a comment down below and describe how you would like your sim to look and the name that you would like it to have. But if you want to like actually create a sim, maybe, you could either, how could you show me? You could either go over to my Facebook page, it's just green or gemsicle, I'll link it down below. You could create a sim um, and send me a picture over on Facebook. That's probably the best way if you do that and then and then I could create the exact sim in this let's play. That may be a good idea. If you fancy doing that, you could do that. Shoes, we do have a decent selection of shoes. The, like, the original shoes are so awful though compared to some of the ones that we get <laughs> later on. Maybe, oh, I quite like those. I'm not a fan of those jeans, I'm going to have to change my mind. On, oh, actually, yeah, these jeans, yeah, I like them. They're much better. Should we go with those little pumps? Or, oh no, what about that? Oh, I like that look, what do you think? Chloe, I hope you're happy with that look, that is going to be <laughs> your look. Do we want any accessories? We can't have any, we don't have any accessories. Okay, there we go, there is Chloe Pepper, our first sim in our brand new game. Let's start. Oh, this is so exciting. I think, yeah, we go through a tutorial just to start off with. So we just need to learn how to like pan the camera and rotate, all that type of stuff. Oh, I think, and then yeah, zoom in. Zoom out. Yeah, zoom out. I kind of remember this. Oh, I do remember this. Buy a toilet. So we go through a little tutorial. So you may be actually someone who is brand new to the game. This is how the game will work. You will have limited time quests that pop up like this and there'll be various different tasks that you have to do within the quest. They're generally about seven days long. So this tutorial is kind of really good to obviously show you how the game is going to work. That's what a tutorial kind of does. But yeah, I like the little stories that go along. So let's read this story. So buy a toilet. That was a long trip into town without toilet stops. <laughs> What's worse is the builders forgot to put a toilet in this house. Luckily, you can buy one in the home store. See that pulsing button at the bottom of the screen? Tap it to enter the home store and buy a toilet. So it's just going to teach us where to go. So here is the, it's so weird playing on an iPad because I normally play on my phone. It's kind of laid out slightly different. So we get a free toilet first off. Let's place that next to the sink there. And we have done that. Again, if you're new, you can see that along the bottom, there's a running total. Like, so that is 4%. We've got to obviously get to 100% to complete the tutorial. When we've got to 100%, as it says, complete this tutorial, and Simtown is yours to explore. It's good to see how long you've kind of got to go within your quests. Of course, now use the toilet. Now that the toilet is in place, it's time to take care of business. Tap on the toilet and get your sim to use it. So let's go. Use the toilet, and that takes seven seconds. So every task within the Sims replay takes a certain period of time. There are tasks that take, oh, we've leveled up. There are tasks that take looks like 24 hours to do, but there are some quick ones like using the toilet. So we've leveled up level two. We got a lifestyle point there, which are vital within the game. We unlocked a new house. We got a new bed, a retro sink. It would be nice maybe to use some of this old furniture as well, because I feel like I don't use any of this old furniture when I'm building houses. I use all the new stuff. We got quite a lot of stuff there. Okay, excellent. We are level two. Oh, Sims have needs. All Sims have six basic needs. Hunger, bladder, energy, hygiene, social, and fun. Something that I think maybe not all players know actually is that if you have if you fill up all of their needs, your sim then becomes inspired and they'll get like green floaty bits coming off them. When they're inspired like that, they earn extra, as it says here, mega XP. So you definitely want to always try and keep your sims happy and inspired and make sure all those bars are way up in to the green. Don't let them fall down to the red. And now we need to wash hands in a sink. Phew, your sim feels much better but now has dirty hands. Wash your sim's hands in a sink. So it's wash hands for seven seconds. 
she's done that and now expand a room clean hands and a clean home speaking of the home it looks great but it feels a little cramped time to renovate Go to the home store and choose the rooms tab, then tap on your wall and drag to expand the room. So back into the home store and then this is actually really like, I need this tutorial to figure out how to play on an iPad, it's so weird. Let's just drag it out a little bit to expand it. That was free, we should have expanded it even more if it was a free, a free expand. Now add flooring. Now your sim can really stretch their legs. Give the house a new look. Okay, so let's go floors and, oh, sky blue carpet is free. So I guess we'll use that. Simoleons are tight in the beginning of this game. So is there anything that we can get for free, we definitely want to uh, to utilize that. Add some wallpaper, much better. Now complement the room with some new wallpaper. Go to the home store and choose the walls tab, then select some wallpaper. So we can do that. Walls, white paint is free. So let's use that free white paint. And we've leveled up to level three. So we've unlocked a, another sim with level three. We've unlocked another house. We've got one LP. A couple of different furniture items there. Some windows, a door, a window, a door, and some new carpets. Oh, and some other items as well. And some things that we can cook. Great. Let's continue. Buy a lamp. This home is looking better every minute. Or it would if it weren't so dark in here. <laughs> Some lighting would help your sim find their way around. So, furniture, lighting, and oh, yeah, we got an El Cheapo lamp for free. Perfect. Let's place that down. Move an object. That lamp is great, but there's something about the chi of this room that seems odd. So, we need to move it to a better position. So, let's just. I liked it there, though, <laughs> to be honest. Right, fair enough. Browse clothes in the wardrobe. The house is looking great. So good, in fact, that your sim isn't sure what they're wearing is as good. Is it the clothes? The hair? Best check to be sure. So we need to go into the wardrobe and just browse clothes. I'm pretty sure you don't actually have to change. If you like how your sim looks here, you don't think. Should we test it out? I don't think we have to actually change. So let's just say... Yes, let's return to the game. I think it will complete. Yeah, it does complete. So if you're happy with your sim, just leave it as it is. Buy a garden patch. Very sharp. Now that your sim and their home looks good, get them to work on the garden. So back in the home store, the outdoors section, trees, plants and flowers. We'll get a garden patch. Let's put it in this bit here. That seems to be the sensible place. Now grow some bell peppers. So... Let's click on there and bell peppers, they are free. They take 30 seconds. So she's going to go out there. Grow some bell peppers. Oh, the peppers have finished growing. Once they've finished, you have to click on them to collect them. Oh, we leveled up to level four. My goodness, you go through levels so fast at the beginning. We've unlocked another sim, unlocked another house, got another LP. Shower. Ooh, we got the retro stuff. I like those. I don't really use them actually these days, but I really quite like them. Oh, and we've got some new items. We can now plant carrots and corn. Awesome. Okay, we're 52% done on the tutorial now. Claim daily reward. Great work. Gardening is a fantastic way to earn simoleons. Hey, the mail just arrived. Tap on the mailbox at the front of the house. So at the front over here is the mailbox. And, oh, we got 73 simoleons. Not a lot, but it's better than nothing. Collected our daily reward. Collect revenue on the town map. Hey, it's a letter. It says that every building in town generates revenue or XP, including your Sims home. Select the town map button at the bottom of the screen, then tap the house to collect from it. So, town map. And then once we're out on the town map, let's click on there. I want to have a little look around the town and map as well. Oh, we need to build a workplace, build the fire station. Just look at the size of this place. If your sim wants to make it work here, they're going to need a job. Go to the town map and build the fire station. Don't forget to quick complete the instruction. This one is free. Oh, awesome. Right, let's just check this out because this is going to be so crazy. Oh my goodness, look, the bridge isn't there over to Mystery Island. Oh, look, the... Private Island is there, but obviously we can't get to it because we need to use this boat here. 
to get to it and we haven't we can't do that yet oh it looks so weird like we've got no campgrounds no police station no communities that no anything this this is where this ski lodge is there is nothing here it's so strange no school no car dealership no mall wow it just looks oh look there's the sim town sat the sim town sign yeah is that yeah that's what it's called isn't it the sim town sign nothing there that oh, it's so strange it's so cool seeing it back to like its original like how it was it's awesome right anyway fire station let's build this this takes two minutes and 30 seconds whenever you build a community building on the town map you will get sort of you'll have requirements and it will add certain town value so for the fire station it will take two minutes 30 seconds it will cost 500 simoleons and you need at least one sim to be able to build it and then we will unlock the firefighter career by building it and we'll add 10,000 simoleons of town value so let's click on there to build so normally it will cost an LP to complete this but it is allowing us to do it for free this time so let's go ahead speed that along excellent and we now have our first workplace we have a fire station get this sim a job at the fire station of course working in town is one of the best ways to earn simoleons get your sim that job open the careers panel and then tap on the briefcase where is the sim tracker in <laughs> here it is down here oh my goodness i yeah it's on the left hand side on my phone so she's unemployed at the moment chloe you need a job let's get you a job as a brave firefighter add a new sim oh my goodness okay so i didn't know i was gonna have to add another sim in this tutorial do you hear something someone is moving in next door go to the town map and tap on the add home icon to add a new sim okay right i'm gonna go back to my little community post i put up on youtube and see if i can find another name for someone another name for a sim that someone has commented oh here we are we have a comment from lorena guajard Gua excuse me and my complete butchering of pronouncing your surname lorena guajardo and she says you should name a sim emma thompson she would have blonde hair green eyes and her skin color is pale let's do that then thank you for your suggestion let's add oh so yeah so here is a finished townhouse we're going to build this and it did it say that the first one is yes we can complete this straight away it's not going to cost any lps to quicken this up lps are the currency that either you can buy items like special items special certain bench items with lp but generally they're kind of used to speed things up in sims freeplay so let's use that and add a new sim so who are we making emma thompson emma thompson she's a female was it skin tones pale mm, i mean do you want the palest let's go with the palest and she wanted blonde hair green eyes she's gonna probably look quite similar to chloe actually isn't she what about this hair no let's go hmm i don't know go with that one I quite like that one it's a little bit different I don't think I've used it many times before let's try what look do we want we don't want that look um that look is that quite pretty maybe I quite like that look and eyes we want some green eyes let's go with those ones and was there any other requests blonde hair green eyes pale skin color okay so no that was all she wanted Thank you so much, Lorena, for your suggestion. She is getting added into the town right now. So you can start commenting down below. We've got our two sims so far. We've got Chloe and we have Emma. What's their relationship? Do you want them to like become best friends? Obviously, there is certain restrictions with things you may have to do with quests. But, you know, do you want them to become, like, best mates? Do you want them to be enemies? Lovers? Um, how do you want the story to go? Let me know down below in the comments. Now we need to inspire a sim by using a cupcake. Moving into town took a lot out of your sim. Cheer them up instantly with using a cupcake. Cupcakes, we were talking before that insp inspired sims 
get some mega XP. We always want our Sims to be inspired if we can. And oh my goodness, she is not happy at all. Look at all her, her bars. Everything's red down there. So we can give. It's free this time. I think there are five LP normally. Oh, we've leveled up again. Another sim unlocked. Another house unlocked. Some new kitchen items. Oh, I think we've got a lot of stuff with this level unlock. We really did. We've got a lot of new furniture items. I like that pink door. We got the pink window last time, right? Some new roofs. Lots of new um, things that we can cook. Apple pie, pumpkin pie, turkey. Excellent, okay. Loads of things there. And Emma is now inspired. Now we need to place a clock from the infantry. Hmm, your sims won't get to work on time if they don't know what time it is. Luckily, the fire station crew left a housewarming gift, a modern war clock. Access the home store, select the infantry icon, and place the modern war clock somewhere in your sim's house. Should we place it in her house? Or, I mean, yeah, we can place it in her house. Infantry, clock, let's stick it there. Why not? Open sim tracker. Oh, great. It's time for your two new neighbours to meet. So, let's... Oh, introducing the sim tracker. So, if you don't know, <laughs> this is how you need to use the sim tracker. This is what it's all about. So, if you tap on the sim's portrait, just select them and go to their location. And the, the whistle, the suitcase will send them to work if they have a job. And then the other button, it's either a whistle or a house. If it's a house, that will you can send them home. If it's the whistle, it means you can whistle them over to where you currently are. So, call a sim over. So, tap the whistle icon. So, let's call over Chloe over to this house. This is a plum bob. <laughs> the plum bob, bob shows you which sim is currently selected. Let's introduce them. Maybe they might have to become friends. Let's see. Selecting the right sim for the right job an essential part of sim life. Tap the sim without the green diamond over their head and then tap the swap selection button. So yeah, if you click on her and then this icon here, switch sim. Perfect. We are nearly done with the tutorial. We are 92% in. First impressions are important, so get these two acquainted quickly before it starts getting awkward. So we want to be funny. So let's click and be funny. And that takes 10 seconds. Have they got the same pants on, but one is in blue and one is in black? That's awkward. Oh, that was... I mean, come on, Emma. That, <laughs> you can't do that is the first thing that you do when you meet someone. Chloe, if I was you, I am not sure I would want to be that person's friend. <laughs> oh, build the park. Now that your sims are moved in and have met their neighbour, they'll need a peaceful location to relax in town. Somewhere like the park. Go to the town map and build the park. So, let's go out onto the town map. We know how to do that now. And whilst we're out here, actually, we should collect the money, the simoleons there, because simoleons, I feel... Are potentially going to be an issue. I remember them being an issue from the last time I restarted the game. Here's the park. The park is a huge deal in Sims Free Play. Like all the quests, everything. You always have to go to the park to meet certain people, and it's you seem to always be at the park. Anyway, so let's get it built. It's going to take four minutes. We need 500 simoleons, and we need two Sims, which is excellent. We have two Sims. We have the money. We can do all of that. And I don't think no, we're not going to get a free speed up so we will leave that going for a few minutes for that to complete whilst we're waiting for that to complete make sure you go and comment down below how you want their relationship emma and chloe's relationship to turn out i think that maybe we should be thinking about some males as well if you've got any suggestions of male names male looks let me know that down below in the comments Construction is now complete on the park, so whenever a building is finished, you will get a pop-up to let you know about it. So your new park is complete. Time to have some fun. Let's just collect our daily reward again, because it is in fact a different day. And oh my goodness, you got a little bit smelly, right? Emma, you haven't been looking after yourself. I wonder what Chloe... Yeah, Chloe is housebound. <laughs> I need to go and sort them out, because they won't move if they're... If their needs aren't being met and they have, you know, their bars all that the way down in the red. 
They're not going to leave their house, so I definitely need to go and sort them out. I've made Chloe and Emma a little bit happier. They are still not wonderful with their needs being met, but they are a little bit happier. So let's head over to the park and we need to collect our simoleons whilst we're out here. And there we go. Oh, our town is now worth 30,048 simoleons. You get rewards when your town becomes worth a certain amount and you can see that there, the next reward, we get one LP when our town is worth 50,000 simoleons. We just increase our town value by adding more buildings. So let's tap to continue and maybe, yeah, there we go, congratulations. You've moved in your first two Sims and given them a great start in Simtown. You're now free to pursue exciting quests, build more of your town and form new relationships. What are you waiting for? Ah, so, so exciting. Right, so there you go. So that is the end of the tutorial. We will start now with the variety of quests that you get within Sims Freeplay. There are two different types of quests. There are main quests and discovery quests. We will go through and we will complete the main quests first, I think. The main quests will just pop up as you play along the game. You have to have a certain level to be able to start each quest. So the first quest is actually called the Breadwinner Quest and you have to be at level 5. We're at level 5 and so we will be able to start the Breadwinner Quest. And there's so many more main quests that will pop up and as you complete one, you'll be able to complete the next one. You have to kind of do them in order and you have to be at a certain level to start each quest. So that is the end of the first episode. Thank you so much for watching. I am really excited about these, this series and kind of to see where it goes. Like I say, we're going to complete all the quests and all the events and everything that goes along with it, but I really want it to be story based as well. And I want you guys to input as much as you want. So yeah, leave me comments down below of everything you kind of want to happen within this series thank you so much for watching i love you guys thank you so much for your support give this video a thumbs up if you are excited for the new series and i will see you soon for a new video thanks for watching bye